from now on, people out there are going to get the latest dirt about who's doing what with whom on the soap operas, both on the soap operas and backstage in the soap operas. And in case you've lost track on the latest deceptions and divorces and diseases, here is the soap scorecard, okay? So watch the monitor over here. to you so for those of you that are like me wait wait back up you know you can follow the bouncing Jew as the things come on <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> my next guest will be giving us as we said all the latest soap opera gossip as we call it now soap dish right and an exclusive sneak peek at the dramatic daytime developments with the editor with the, will we please welcome the editor of soap opera weekly Mimi Torch and have nice to have you back nice to be here Week and you said there was going to be a major character leaving General Hospital. It's going to be a big shakeup, and voila! Look at that. Look at that. Now, who is this? Is Jack? Jack Wagner, who plays Frisco Jones. Leaving. Oh. Leaving. Leaving. You didn't know, huh? Oh, I'm glad. I'm very glad. Because usually the fans are one step ahead of everybody. Yeah. They usually know before he knows that he's yeah. going. Um, yes, he's going. His contract is up in June. And um, he's out of there, as they say. And out of there to where? Well, they think. It's been confirmed by General Hospital that he's leaving. It has not yet been confirmed that he is going to Santa Barbara, but that is the word we have, which is, of course, very interesting because General Hospital is very high rated and Santa Barbara is relatively low rated, although it has won the Emmy for Best Show three years in a row. So, it so looks. So we, by the way. Uh, I know, congratulations. No, just, it. just letting you know that. <laughs> Go ahead, thank you. <laughs> and uh, so we're, we've been trying to get confirmation on that, but apparently he hasn't signed the deal yet. And of course, Jack isn't talking, he never talks, and uh, he's talking even less now. But he is leaving General Hospital in June. When Why are so up. many of them leaving General Because somebody else left General Hospital, Well, right? a lot of people, it's not so much that they've been leaving, it's that they've been fired. Uh, when Gloria Monty came on the, yeah, when Gloria Monty came on the show, you know, Gloria Monty is the person who really made General Hospital, uh, the, when it was the number one show, and it's now second rated. She really made it the show that everybody talked about because she created Luke and Laura. When she came in 1978, oh. for the first time, General Hospital was about to be canceled, and she came in with, uh, not even a new broom, I mean, with a bulldozer. She got rid of the sets, she changed the way they shot the show, she introduced action, and she introduced Luke and Laura, which not only is the best known soap couple probably in yes. the world, but also it was one of the most controversial storylines because Luke raped Laura. I remember. Right? They became I America's remember. sweethearts, and then everybody said, yeah, everyone said, was oh, it Palm wasn't Beach? <laughs> no. <laughs> Life imitates <laughs> art, right? Uh, and everybody, then they started calling it a seduction. Anyway, uh, the show, oh, right. yeah, right? It wasn't a seduction. But anyway, we won't talk about that. It's water under the bridge. Uh, oh, oh, go on. <laughs> Did I say water under yeah. the bridge? Sorry, Teddy. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> I love live shows. Go on. <laughs> so Gloria sent the ratings right up to the top. The show was number one. And she left in 1986 to do some other things. And uh, there were a series of producers that came in. Uh, and the show stayed at second place pretty well, but there was a lot of controversy. She came back about in December. 
um, and the bulldozer or the guillotine uh, as people started again. She came in like the Red Queen saying off with their heads and out went uh, Bradley Lockerman who played, uh, first he played an alien and then he played a character named Shep and uh, yes it sounds funny but he was very popular uh, and then five or six, seven more characters, Dawn, Decker, um, Edge, Th these were characters that were Colton who had been on the show since practically when she left 1986 and out, they were gone. And everybody said that the reason they think this happened was she wanted to get rid of all the people that she hadn't hired or the characters she hadn't created. She wanted the atmosphere around her to be familiar so that she could create in that atmosphere. Right. And then her big coup was to bring back Tony Geary, who had played Luke. That's right. That's right. Go on. But instead of bringing him back as Luke, she decided, because she said she didn't want to go backward, she wanted to go forward, Luke and Laura were a thing of the past, she wanted to do something of the future, she brought him back as a new character named Bill Eckert. Yes, I was just like, boo. Is that Precisely. what happened? They didn't, they didn't want to see him as something else. You, how, how do you feel about that? I mean, no. not happy, right? No. <laughs> well, the ratings. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it yeah. really is. She brought in the whole Eckert clan, which is this uh, blue-collar family, and um, it's uh, Carol Lawrence plays the mother, and she's quite wonderful, and actually the people are very good, but, but there have been so many changes. And one thing I think soap fans don't like are changes that happen too fast. Yeah. I mean, the thing about soaps is continuity, right? Yeah. Our life goes you very, like very fast. You like somebody and you watch right. and watch and watch what's going you, you, on You with want them. things yeah. to stay the same. That's, that's why soaps ostensibly move very slowly right. so that things sort of stay the same. And uh, I think that she's alienated a lot of viewers because the, the ratings are sinking Way faster down. yeah, than a, you know, a stiff and... Now, you're going to show us some clips from... Uh, so nobody gets her from each of the three networks or yeah, the shows. Of course. And show us like what's going to happen in the future. Each of these, right? Uh, well, like these little, are some previews. Yeah, previews, previews. It, so you can stay in your supermarket and say, "I think <laughs> on Friday," <laughs> and they'll say, "Myrna, you're a genius." <laughs> All right. So here are the clip. Let's see the clip. And when you explain to us over the clip, what's happening? Um, yeah. Well, they're pretty Who fast. is this? Well, well, this Eve's is Jack. My release. Um, from the I do mean Days of Our Lives. Very popular. Movie. Okay. Once again. Will you be my wife? I don't Whoa. even know what we're disagreeing about. We are disagreeing about my daughter. Young and restless. That you would Mickey have the gall and Ashley. to go to her father and try to get him to take her away from me. I resent that. I resent that more than I can ever tell you. You're going to have to do the same thing, make the same mistakes before no, you learn. This is all my children, and that's Brooke and Jack. I am just trying to help Brooke. going to happen on that car crash? Well, this is a very big storyline on All My Children. Uh, it begins Monday and then it, it uh, Friday, sorry, and then it carries on into next week. And there's going to be a huge car crash. This was a big location scene. And uh, Julia Barr. Oh, look. Yeah, yes. Doesn't look very pretty, does it? Well, thank you for all these previews. What's happening? And you'll come back next, next Thursday. Next week. And we get a lot more... As and much as we soap, can squeeze soap in. Soap dish, okay? Thanks. This is true. I'm getting interested in this stuff now. Terrific. Yeah. Oh, that's all I need. Instead of watching me, I'm going to turn on the smoke. You can see that. <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> we'll be right back with, listen to this, gay men who sleep with straight men, and some of them could be your husbands. <laughs>